The main change that's occurring in, in the brain with aging, and we see it in humans, we see it in rats, uh, is that there's a development of what you might call inflammation. It's a lot like what happens when you're injured, but in this case it happens in the brain. Um, up, up until a few years ago, we weren't even aware that inflammation developed in the brain. Now we see that it's in the background of a lot of diseases. What I've discovered is that marijuana, uh, or at least the, a particular component of it, what we call a cannabinoid, um, is the component of the plant that when in the brain, at very low levels, uh, is able to reduce this brain inflammation. I'm incredibly excited about it because this is the first time we've ever had a compound that actually works in the old brain. Everything works in a young brain, but this is working in old brain. So this means that if you're 60, 70, and you're having some problems with mental decline, um, we might have a mechanism that could target that. You can use very, very low doses. We're talking about the equivalent of one puff of a marijuana cigarette per day, just one. Now, this isn't something that's likely to produce the euphoria of the high. Um, and we think we might be able to, be able to go lower doses. So this is just the beginning of what we think we'll un, sort of uncover as we continue to investigate this line of research. So our thinking is that you might actually uh, take this medication via a patch, so you wouldn't actually have to inhale any, you know, cancerous smoke. Uh, you wouldn't have to, you know, prepare the cigarettes. We could get around all of those behaviors that some people find unpleasant, especially in the elderly. I would like to be able to find what we call a magic bullet that would be able to reduce the inflammation and its consequences on your mental function without having to raise the specter of it being a drug of abuse.